Hey everybody, um, <clears throat> this video should be a, a pretty quick one. Uh, this graph that I'm going to show is going to be on my GitHub. You'll find the link below in the description. So feel free to check that out and download it. Download this and use it however way you want. Um, so uh, for fun, I was like, uh, I was working on a, um, a Dynamo uh, graph and I was uh, wanting to be able to tab different elements. Um, and then see those elements, uh, you know, their parameters and some other things, ha you know, happen down the script. But I couldn't, um, uh, you know, with the model select, uh, I couldn't grab, like, uh, in this case, like, all of this duct. Um, and then run this and then uh, for it to have the updated selection. And then again, if we, we run this here. And then a common one. So if we do a wall real quick. Then let's turn on. So tab into this, click run, and then boom, we have all of our walls. So a few things happening here. Uh, first thing is is for this node to reset, uh, I found this here. So this isn't from me, but uh, the form post is right here. And you can go check out that conversation. But uh, what this node here does is it'll re it'll force reset this, this node here because it has um, force at the beginning of the, the name. And so it looks at the nodes and it finds the ones that say force in it and then it resets them. I know that if you use Dynamo Player, you don't have to worry about that as much. Or if you use like a tune up, um, you can reset nodes. Um, I, I don't know if it resets the entire graph or how that works, but there's. Um, for this particular graph, I just wanted that one node to be reset, and this is a nice, easy um, function that we could just use over and over. So, anyways, check that out. Um, there's a forum post that talks about it. Um, and then, just for uh, the folks that want to uh, are interested in it, I've listed where you can find the um, Dynamo Revit uh, DS. Uh, um, uh, DLL so that you can dig into that and see what's available um, so check that out um, if you're interested but that's the path that it should be uh, for Revit 2022 where you can find those um, so there's that and the other part of it was being able to select different items and run it now I've messed with selections before like in C sharp with add-ins um, I've been able to uh, use selections to do other things and so I knew it had to be available um, and so here in this node it's pretty simple it uses the UI doc uh, selection and then what we do is we get the selection or get the element IDs there's a couple links here to that uh, to the API documentation uh, I'll put these links below, but also you'll find them in the graph too, so check that out. But, um, so the selection members, so after we use that, uh, what we have, and you can see it here in the Revit UI selection uh, namespace, and so there is a selection uh, class, and then here uh, we can also return the uh, get element IDs, which then what we can do is use it to get out get the elements by their ID so there's a under the document class there is a method that you can use called get elements and then you can pass in the element ID and then it will return the element so in this case what I do is I get uh, with the active selection so that's whatever I have actively selected I run it you can see there I've got the two walls and what that function does is it'll return whatever the active selection is. And then um, this last part here, which isn't doesn't need to be a function, but it um, will just loop through that selection of IDs and then return the actual elements. And then here, uh, as my out, is the actual selected elements. So 
pretty straightforward. I thought it was interesting. Um, that's all this is. Um, there's ways that I like to uh, select elements and play with different things without having to reset the entire graph or, or remove a node and then paste it back into Dynamo. Um, so I find this helpful. I don't know if you guys will, but if it is something that you want to check out, uh, you'll find it again in the uh, in my GitHub, GitHub repo, uh, and there will be a link in the description. So feel free to check that out. Let me know if you have any questions, and also if there's future videos that you want me to do, um, let me know. But uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.